same. Our Sam says everyone's going to be invited oh, to the party. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, well, and awesome. there's to be there's to be presents, Mark. Yes. Uh, the presents for all. Uh, 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 this very month this is. This very month. That very month was September, as fine as you could ask. A day or two later, a rumor, probably started by the knowledgeable Sam, was spread that there were going to be fireworks such as had not been seen in the Shire for nigh on a century. An odd-looking wagon laden with odd-looking packages rolled into Hobbiton one evening and toiled up the hill to Bag End. It was driven by dwarves with long beards and deep hoods, then a cart came in through Bywater from the direction of the Brandywine Bridge. An old man was driving it, all alone. He wore a tall, pointed blue hat, a long gray cloak, and a silver scarf. He had a long white beard and bushy eyebrows, and small hobbit children ran after the cart right up the hill. It had a cargo of fireworks. The old man was Gandalf the Wizard. His real business was far more difficult and dangerous, but the Shire folk knew nothing about it. And when he had finished unloading, Bilbo gave a few pennies away, and they disappeared inside. How bright your garden looks! Yes, I'm very fond of it, but I think I need a holiday. Oh, you, you mean to go on with your plan, then? I do. I made up my mind months ago, and I haven't changed it. I mean to enjoy myself and have my little joke. Uh, who will laugh, I wonder? We shall see. Yes. Carts rolled up the hill. Invitations began pouring out. Tents began to go up. There was a large pavilion with a tree inside it and lanterns on its branches. Cooks arrived and excitement rose to its height. Then Thursday, September 22nd, actually dawned. The sun got up, flags were unfurled, and the fun began. The presents were real dwarf make and unusually good. There were songs, dances, music, games, and food and drink. The fireworks were by Gandalf. Brought, designed, and made by him. There were special effects, dwarf candles, elf fountains, thunderclaps. They were all superb. There were rockets like birds and green trees with trunks of dark smoke. There were fountains of butterflies. And then a great smoke went up. The lights went out. The smoke was shaped like a mountain and a red golden dragon whizzed three times over the heads of...